In the Red Sea, the Houthis are still at it, attacking ships at will. On Tuesday, they launched 21 drones and missiles, all aimed at shipping vessels. It was their largest attack yet, but warships from the US and the UK shot them down. No one was injured, nothing was damaged, except for business confidence. Shipping companies are spooked. After all, this was the 26th Houthi attack in less than two months, and by the looks of it, it won't stop until the war in Gaza stops. About 12% of global trade passes through the Red Sea, and these attacks are bleeding businesses. Our next report tells you more. It was around 9.15 local time. The Houthis were gearing up. One-way attack drones, anti-ship cruise missiles, anti-ship ballistic missiles. They had it all. And soon they launched 21 of them. It was targeted at shipping vessels in the Red Sea. The Navy, rocket forces and the Air Force of the Yemeni Armed Forces carried out a joint military operation using a significant number of ballistic missiles naval assets and drones targeting an American ship that was providing support to the Zionist entity. So the target was an American ship, but around 50 vessels were in the area. Any one of them could have been hit. But before that happened, the US and the UK jumped into action. 18 drones, two cruise missiles and one ballistic missile. They were all shot down. It was taken down by a combination of British and American warplanes and destroyers. So, no one got hurt and nothing was damaged. But it was the largest attack by the Houthis and it's gone on for quite some time now. In November, the Houthis warned the West. They said they would target Israeli-owned or Israel-bound vessels. This was to protest against the war in Gaza. And they've lived up to their promise. Since November 19th, the Houthis have launched multiple attacks. Tuesday's attack was their 26th one in just three months. Of course, this has left ships spooked. 12% of annual global trade passes through the Red Sea. That's $1 trillion worth of goods. Container ships carry oil, consumer goods, all sorts of material. This is obviously not good news for them, which is why they are redirecting ships. Ships usually use this route through the Suez Canal. It's the quickest sea route between Asia and Europe. The alternative is a much longer one. It's around Africa's Cape of Good Hope. This adds 3,500 nautical miles to the journey, which means it will need more time, more fuel, more crew and more money. Shipping rates have risen over 4% in the last one week and it will rise further, which means someone will have to bear the cost and it's likely to be the customer. So get ready for things to get more expensive. But is there a solution? America has offered one. It's a multinational task force, an alliance of sorts. Many nations have joined. Together, they are guarding the Red Sea. The warships that took down the drones and missiles were part of this. Some other countries like India have also sent their warships. There are patrols and increased security, but some shipping companies still remain reluctant. And Tuesday's attack showed why. The US and the UK may have prevented it, but will they be able to thwart every Houthi attack in the Red Sea?